Canvas the street. Check that Chinese store in the corner in this apartment building here. Find out if anybody saw the victim come into the alley. If uh, anybody was with them, uh, maybe they heard an argument or something like that. This guy was beat with this two by four here. See the hairs embedded in the uh, wood fibers? I think it's definitely a murder weapon. Is there any way of knowing if there was more than one guy beating on him? A uh, blood spatter might tell us that. There's also this bottle of Chinese cooking wine. Maybe he was sharing it with somebody or a couple of somebody's. Yeah, or a couple of nobodies. Whatever happened, it sure as hell wasn't the old guy's lucky day. Hey, down there, up here. I need some help, please. Clarence O'Malley, 73, according to his driver's license. Well, the red dots in his eyes may indicate particular hemorrhaging. Could be a, could be asphyxiation, but there's no bruising on the neck. Is there? He's got a neck like a bull. What is he ever? Well, look at his hands, too. This man has put in some, some hours. He's a hard worker, this one, huh? What about the cuts on his face? Are those just from shaving? Or... I mean, look, it's one of these old ones. Yeah, it could be his hands just weren't as steady as they used to be. And, uh, just a couple of spots, to say the least. So what was the story now? You guys were down in the alley when you found him, when you found him? Yeah, we got an old wino down there beat to death. A goddamn cooking wine freak out. Well, my guess here, this is unnatural, but we'll wait for uh, autopsy results. Now, who's this watching down the hall? Is this the guy found him? It's George, his friend. They were going bowling. George? I'm very sorry about your friend. Jeez, still can't believe it. I keep expecting him to come out of his room big as life and start kibitzing at me. We got the landlord to open up Clarence's room if you want to take a look. Maybe he could show us around. Yeah, I can do that. That's his mother. How long did you know Clarence for? Fifty some odd years. Is that right? Met in the logging camp in North of Tassas. We were just a bunch of kids, but behind the ears, right? Great picture. Did every job there was to do in logging. I never saw him wear that suit. I guess I will now. What about next to kin? Is there any family that uh, we could be contacting? His parents died when he was a little boy. He was married once for a year. Pretty little girl. She died of cancer. I'm sorry. Would you say that Clarence was an easy guy to get along with? Hell no. And he never bothered anybody. He's my best friend. Hey, he sounds like a pretty good guy. He was a great guy. Great guy. Find anything interesting? Saw some bank statements. Not much in the kitty, I'll wager. None of these guys got too much.
check. Sounds good to me. I bet 20. Make it 40. downtown I got the call to come down just like today old time pensioners living in there and that yeah as I get out front I must have told you just the harness he's telling me I really got a live one for you today I'm going no 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 so let me remind you again <laughs> when they're dead that's when I come he goes no no I, this guy's alive all right all right so I go upstairs to the room there he's stark naked skinny guy <laughs> and he's like blue with electricity so it, Almost like you can see sparks jumping off. He's totally, well, you know what this guy had done? What did he do? He got ahead and he taped a uh, lamp cord onto his chest. Very sick. To make the ground, he's nailed his foot to the floor. Ow. Another piece of tape on the head and he's plugged himself in. He's got no body fat, not an ounce on him. There's no diffuse didn't blow. <laughs> it's unbelievable. So I'm going, I'm going to the, to the, to the uniform. Unplug him, why don't you? And he goes, no, he's not. I'm plugging anybody <laughs> until the fire department. We <laughs> sure did I wasn't gonna touch him, so we wait. Oh God. But you know, this little skinny guy left a suicide note. He's an old time logger too, just way back. And uh, no said he just, you know, he just couldn't take it anymore. Since he, your life wasn't worth living since he couldn't work. Jesus. Yeah. Gotta be more to life than just work. Well, you find out what that is and how I get there. You let me know. Mm -hmm. I think I'll put another one here, all right? Yeah, sure. I'll get this. Who can I get this one? Okay. Wait, number, nice lottery draw are 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. Uh, the jackpot tonight is $2 million. That'd certainly be enough for a ticket somewhere, Sonny, wouldn't it, Carol? Here you go. Hey, oh. I'd ask you something. Those nice chairs. Hey, if you if you won the lotto, what would you do with the money? How much money? Oh, say two million. Two million? Yeah. It's easy. I'd buy myself a new car. Shit, two million. I'd buy everybody I know a new car. Hell, I'd even buy you a new car. See, now you don't have to, because I bought myself one with my own winning. Well, he won it. Who? The guy. Who? The dead guy in the crapper, Clarence. He just won the goddamn lot. How do you know that? The ticket was on the fridge. There's a whole bunch of them, and oh, it's yeah. all the same numbers, so you like you play the same numbers. And you notice the numbers. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. And those are the numbers that just came up. I just saw it on the TV. Holy shit, Leo, two million? Yeah. Two you million? Know what the hell's gonna happen now, don't you? Uh what? what a joint like that. Somebody's gonna go up there and oh, take yeah. that ticket. You're right, you're right, no, no. We can't let that happen. That'd be tragic. No, the guy doesn't have any relatives. We don't know that about the relatives yet. We still don't know. That's all the more reason, then, that we should go up there and seize that ticket. For the relatives? Yes. Yes, that's right. To keep it safe for the relatives. Yes. Right. Yes, we have to do something. We don't want any uh, uh, negligence to come up and bite us. No, no. You don't even say it. Yeah. Well. What are we going to do? What do we do? Zip up and let's go and get the ticket. Take a look at that ticket. It's not seize anything quite right there. Just take a look at that. You're gonna tell me they didn't know anything about these private clubs till yesterday? Come on, they knew. Now all of a sudden they care? Why? They're giving anyone with even an ounce of native blood a goddamn casino. Bet 10. Raise. Like a poke guy. Call. Call 20, raise 20.
All razor fold? Hey, we're in no hurry. Anyone looks as good as she does, she can take as long as she wants. Call. Call. Possible hearts, possible straight. I bet 20. 20, raise 20. Call. See the 40, raise the 40. Call. You're hoping for another heart to show up to make that flush. Tell me I'm wrong. You're wrong. Call. Call. Hearts made it. Possible straight. About a hundred. Oh, pretty and bold. Well, my gut tells me that my straight ain't worth shit. If I play the right hand, you guys get all the luck. Me jack for a straight possible flush. Two hundred. So flush with a king. Ace high flush here. Ace high flush wins. Let me just see that. I don't, I don't think you should touch it. Those are the numbers. You know what this means? If he didn't have any relatives. It means the government's gonna get all the money. That'd be bloody tragic. Yeah. You know what I would do if that was mine? I'd take care of my wife the way she should be taken care of. Oh. Nurses, everything. Yeah, I know. I could have all my kid to get education that she needs, that she deserves. Send my mom back to her her hometown. A little holiday there. Ah, oh, she go mental. Of course, I have to give some money to prostate cancer research. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. You know, there's a lot of charities out there that could use some money. You know, I wouldn't mind keeping a little bit of that for myself. I've worked really hard. Why shouldn't I have some of that money? Absolutely. Why shouldn't you have some of that money? Absolutely. I've worked hard too. or two in your day, I can see that. Yeah, maybe. I know a good player when I sit with one. Play a pretty smart hand yourself. Name's Greg. Mick. I like your style, Mick. These other chicken shit players. Piece of cake, Mick. It's because they're worried about money. Can't play cards when you're worried about money. Exactly. You get that balls to pull the trigger. Doesn't matter what your hand is. Yeah, well, as long as it's the right hand at the right time. That's the game. I haven't seen you in here before. Where do you usually play? Yeah, uh, well, different places. Casinos around town, a couple mm -hmm. private games. Haven't been getting out as much as I'd like to, though. You know, uh, wife's got you on a short leash. 
We used to. That's why we split. Mm -hmm. Hey. Good morning. I was just telling Leo that the gentleman died of a heart attack. Cause of death was a bad ticker. Oh, no. Not a bad heart, just an old and tired one. Body can be released to the funeral home when the family signs for it. Well, so far, we haven't found any family. Okay, thanks. Is that a new suit? This is an old suit. That's new. You got the ticket? I got the ticket. It's upstairs in my office. What do you think? I had time to go out and buy a new suit since last night? Look, Leo. I got... We, we can't keep that ticket. I know we can't keep the ticket. That was just talk. Last night was last night. But on the other hand, we can't just go and put the damn thing back now, can we? I know it makes me sick to my stomach. That money's going to go straight back to the government. Oh, no, no. You can't give it to the government. Those people are irresponsible. You are going to have to think of something to do with that money that'll do some good. I, I don't even know if he had a beneficiary, so... Okay. Let's go with that, then, okay? You have to. Hey, Winston. What's happening with that bank information I gave you? Anything turn up there? That was Clarence O'Malley. Yeah? He had a bank account and an RRSP listed. Did he name a beneficiary? We're looking for an extra kin. Oh, man, I checked that. He didn't name one. He didn't. And there was no contact name left on his pension payments. Well, it kind of sounds like he didn't have anybody, doesn't it? Yeah, well, that's what his friend George said. Nobody, no family. It's kind of sad. Well, at least he had George. Yeah. Well, anything? I'm going to go out for a minute. I'm cool. Okay, so he's got no relatives. What, what are we going to do? Well, we just drop the ticket in that guy's hat and walk away. Yeah. Then we'd know that somebody who needed the money was going to get it. I don't want to see this money get pissed away. That would make me nuts. Okay, what are we going to do? You know, I, I, we need a front man is what we need. You know, instead of some kind of charity in the dead guy's name and Clarence's name, like old loggers, I don't know. Okay, but then you got the problem of bringing somebody into this who isn't going to be freaked out by the bread. You know, money. Makes people do crazy things. Well, you know, I was just thinking, what about, uh, what about uh, George there, Clarence's buddy? George? Huh? Oh, yeah, I forgot about him. Seems like a good guy. Uh, if we put it to him right, don't you think that he'd do that? He'd set up the money in some kind of charity or something like that? He would do that. Okay. You let, let me run a background check on him first and make sure he comes up clean. All right, I think that's a good idea. Now, if he comes up clean, though, what? If he comes up clean, well, then he's our guy. You okay with that? You okay with that? Yeah. Okay. All right. You got the same feeling about him as me, all right. Possible straight, possible flush, with clubs or diamonds. Better check. Five hundred. Call your five, raise your five. Call. Flush didn't make it. Possible straight, low pair, possible full house. Check. Thousand to call. Call your thousand, raise your two. Your bet. I know it's my bet. Do you mind if I think about it for a second? You can call, raise, or fold. If you don't pay, you don't look. You want a free ride? Go somewhere where they give a rat's ass about how you shake your ass and twinkle your eyes, all right? I think this looks like a good time to take a break. Say a half hour? Okay. Don't ever do that again. I won't. Good break. Thank you.
Good news, gentlemen. Oh, yeah? Yeah, Clarence had a relative. He did? Mm -hmm. He's in your office. Rick O'Malley. It's his nephew. He says he read about his uncle's death in the obituaries. He's in real estate. Uh, two or whatever he's drinking. Thanks. You bluffed that stupid bitch right out of a winning hand. Okay. I hear you. You got to pay to know. that shit. Quit playing at my last club for the same reasons. Some stupid bitch trying to look at my cards, man. Amen to that. She wants to play in a man's world, play in a man's game. Let her play by a man's rules, right? Yeah, right. So, do you know if my uncle left behind any estate? Yeah, he had an RRSP. I guess you're entitled to that. Yeah? No kidding. How much would I get on that RRSP? Oh, it's pretty good. It's about 500 bucks. 500 bucks? Mm-hmm. Well, that's great. Uh, did he leave anything else? Didn't he have a house? Your uncle lived in a rented room. Didn't he have a car? Nope. Nothing at all? Yeah, he had photos. Memorabilia, some nice stuff. Things like that. Well, I guess I can give that stuff to his friends if, if he had any, um, or get the uh, Sally Ann to take it. If that's it, then I should probably get him on horse. No, that's yeah. not quite all. There is the matter of the disposition of the remains, sir. What do you mean? Funeral. You're gonna wanna make funeral arrangements. Am I obligated by law? No, you're not obligated by law. Okay, so uh, so what would you do with him if I hadn't turned up? Cremate him. What's that gonna cost? A couple hundred bucks. Oh, well, there goes my inheritance already. Oh, well, uh, let me know. I'll, uh, I'll write you a check after I collect on the RSP. Hey, aren't you gonna ask how your uncle died? Uh, yeah, oh, how'd he die? He had a massive heart attack. Luck of the draw, eh? Oh, well, I guess, uh, go ahead and cremate him, and, uh, I'll write you a check after I uh, cash in the RSP. Deal? That's your job. You deal with a funeral home. That's right. He's right. Okay. I'll take care of it. Anything else? No, I don't think so. Not at this time. Good. Okay, take it easy. Oh, by the way, if you guys are looking for some real estate, here's my card. Give me a call. It's been a pleasure. Thanks. All yeah, right. Yeah, cheers. See you soon. You didn't give him the ticket. Yeah. I'm all in here for my last 500. All in, thousand on the side. Mm -hmm. Two pair with a pair of nines. Pairs with a pair of queens. Nice hand, but it's trip twos. <sighs> you went all that way on a pair of twos. Cash me out, Frank. Got to have the boss pull the trigger, right? That's all for me. Good night, gentlemen. Thanks for the game. Well, you just had a run of bad luck, Mick. It happens. Yeah, that always happens when you need the money. That bitch jinxed me, man. I know it. Come on, let me buy you breakfast. It's like the least I could do. Hey, I make a mean three cheese omelet. Oh. Do you got somewhere better to go? No, actually, I don't.
So you and your buddy Clarence pretty much did everything together? Pretty much. We even shared a woman once. Yeah, well, you were really good friends. Oh, yeah, she was a hugger. Yeah, but uh, what kind of things was uh, Clarence interested in? Well, besides uh, bowling and uh, uh, Jeopardy on TV, not much. But he liked watching the games on the TV. Oh, he loved games, yeah, all kinds of games. Scrabble, he's very good at it. Scrabble. What about gambling? Did he gamble? He's terrible at cards. Did he play the lotto? Crazy about the lotto. He was crazy about the lotto. Crazy. You guys ever share a ticket together? I don't think so. What, not even once? Maybe. 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 Once. I... Probably. Probably. It's a waste of money. No, but you did, you did share a ticket one time there? Yeah. Yeah. He forced me into it. Don't think it made any money. It was a couple of years ago. Well, hey, hey, hey. Don't tell us what it was, okay? You see, George, we got this little proposition for you, okay? It's very nice. Yeah. You, you, can't, you, can't, you can't win if you're thinking about the money, right? Money is the game, Mick. I mean, it all changes when the stakes rise. Some players, they play a cool hand when it's chump change, but they start peeling off the brown and the purple bills, they hesitate. Mm. Their fingers begin to shake. They light a cigarette. I mean, do you believe that, Brad? Unbelievable. You can see the fear creep into their eyes. I love that. It's a good game. Mm. Mm. So you gonna crack open that other bottle or what? Absolutely. Nice. It's a real nice place you got here. Yeah, it'll do in a pinch. I live in a shoebox. It's all I can afford after paying the ex, soon to be ex-wife's expenses. The lawyer's got a direct line plugged straight from my account right into hers. Buddy, I think you need to come up with a better game plan. A lottery ticket. Yep. Me and your Uncle Clarence, we bought a lottery ticket together. On this ticket? You saying it won some money? Two million bucks. Jesus. Well, isn't that a million dollars for you and a million dollars for me? Sounds, sounds fair, right? Didn't say I was going to give you half. I thought you said you and my uncle shared the ticket. We were going to share the ticket. The clients didn't have the money to pay for it, so I paid the whole amount. Well, the way I see it, the intent was there, so... Hey, you some kind of lawyer. I know. Dick. That's your name? Dick. No, Rick. Okay. Seeing as how Clarence never once mentioned your name to me in 50 years, here's what I'm willing to do for you. I'm going to see that you get half the money on one condition, that we give your uncle a proper send-off. Comes out of your share. My share. And your share, George? My share. Uh-huh. Well, I, I thought I'd put it into a, a fund and uh, help people with it. Oh. And, you, and you're not taking any of it for yourself? Didn't say that, did I? Well, the way I see it, that ticket was in my uncle's possession, and I think it should be mine, and I think a lawyer would agree with me. I don't think so. No, you see that ticket there, that's uh, government property now. I seized it, it's evidence. Evidence of what? Your uncle's case is not closed. I thought you said he died of a heart attack. Toxicology reports aren't back from the lab yet, and that can take goddamn forever. Sometimes it does. Well, what the hell is that supposed to mean? What does that mean? It means in cases like your uncle, questions keep coming up. There's this and that, you know, and the what ifs. It could go on for years. See, we are trying to appeal to your better nature. You do have one of those, don't you? Rick, Dick, where is it? 
Rick. Yeah, yeah. Are we ready to do this? Yeah. Yeah, let's get it over with. Okay, give me your credit card. Why? You never said anything about my credit card. Because we're going to need it to pay for the funeral arrangements until the money comes in. Fine, give him your card. There's a limit on that? Yeah, I figured that. Okay. It's time for the ticket. What is it? Oh. There it is. Six white horses. Six numbers. What do you think? I'm telling you, man, when I first met her, she was the sweetest little thing I ever laid eyes on. Hot little mink. But the minute we got married, it was like, all of a sudden I'm going, who is this woman and why is she vomiting out these words? It's the wedding ring. Huh? It's the wedding ring. It changes them. Yeah, it's the ring. And the booze. Anyway, that's it. Last time for me. Once is once too often. I mean, you know, I was a gambler when she met me. I'm a gambler after we get married, but all of a sudden I can't even buy a lottery ticket without her squawking at me. What the, what the is that? Unless you win. Mm. And then if you win, they are in your shorts mm. in a flesh. And it's their money. They got a way to logic it out so they earned it. Right? <laughs> I, I don't like anyone busting my balls. I could say that up front. Oh, that complete bullshit pisses me off. And then you think it's going to be over when you separate. Oh. Oh, it's never over. You know what? You know, sometimes I... I think I just like to... snap her little neck. Just be done with it. She's going to drain me for every cent. I can just smell it. What's that, blow? Nah, I don't know. No, thanks, man. Good. You got any insurance on her? Insurance, you know? Are you still carrying insurance on your wife? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You like life insurance, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, I still got a policy. <laughs> Why, you're thinking I should cash it in and collect the money? Is that right? No, 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 no. You don't sell, you keep it. You, you make it work for you, you know? You know what I'm talking about? Hmm. Insurance, it works on two levels. Either you are paying into it, or you are collecting on it. Yeah, that's a good thought. But killing my wife. Nah, I don't think I could do that. I did. Piece of cake. Son of a bitch, George is gone. I tried calling him, he's not there. Did you go down there? No one's answering the door. The landlord said he hasn't seen him all day. Well, we ran a background check, didn't we, Leo? Three bad check beefs, that's all. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sue. I'm gonna sue all of you, okay? thing you were telling me about before your wife you, you were bullshitting me about that right that's a joke yeah no no joke <laughs> so you actually did that there's got to be a thousand guys like me sitting around crying over their scotch thinking about how nice it would be to get rid of the old lady and you just just did that. It's just like playing a hand. I mean, you think about the move, but you don't overthink the move. You know, you see the play in front of you, you pull the trigger. 
How'd you get away with that, though? What'd the cops do? They found your wife's body. <laughs> what body? Idiots are still looking for it. So let's say I wanted to get you to help me out with my situation. What would you want? What's the coverage? Wait, oh, the policy? Uh-huh. A million? Let's say 20%. 20%. Okay, well, how would we work this? You take her out the same way I took care of my wife. You tell her you want a fresh start. Tell her that you want to take her to some romantic cabin in the woods. Just you and her. She doesn't go for it. Mm. She'll go for it. Women love that romantic crap. Even if deep down inside they hate your guts, they're thinking in the back of their mind is romance. Yeah, uh, maybe. She might go for it. You tell her to rent the place, okay? And then you tell her that you will rendezvous with her at this place the day after she gets there. Ah, oh, she might get suspicious, though. You'd have to go through all that rigmarole. Well, you pump up the mystery. You know, you, you, you pump up the spontaneity, the, the romance. Hey, you know how to work that, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, then when you, uh, when you get there, you have a little sex with her, you know, to get her guard down. Then you take her for a nice romantic walk in the woods. You find a deserted spot. You get the picture? Yeah. Good. Shh. I don't know. I will be there for you every step along the way with the details, okay? Mm -hmm. How'd you actually do the thing? How'd you kill her? kissed her, then I wrapped my hands around her throat, and I squeezed. Jesus. You buried her right there? Yeah. Underneath some big old stump, but don't do that. That was my one mistake. I outsmarted myself. I mean, I got away with murder, but, you know, no body you can't collect on the insurance. Do you understand me? Yeah. All right. Look, I got to piss like a racehorse here, okay? So, pour us a couple of drinks. Yeah. Bring it on. Hey. Wait a minute. But a little toast to our lovely wives. Yeah. <laughs>
Georgie, it's for you. What is it? I'm a little busy in here. Hey, you know the old guy that got beat to death? Yeah, how you doing with that? Well, I got a couple of teenage kids in custody. They did the beating. Oh, good. You're bragging about it at school. A friend turned them in. So you know you're entitled to a lawyer. We found your wife's body buried under a big old stump near that cabin she rented for your little romantic rendezvous. I got you admitting to it on the wire. Judas Prick. Just doing my job. You're a pretty good player, Greg. Just had a run of bad luck the last few hours. That happens. You coming from a wedding or a funeral? Funeral. Grandest funeral that you ever saw. Six, six white horses pulling a oak, solid oak, coffin head to pipers. And an all night wake to keep the banshees away. Oh, that's why we're here, because they were, we went on a booze, so we've come down here to stock her up. Now, I just want to tell you one thing, okay? Money here is no object. None at all. What do you want? Okay. Oh, pack her up. Just pack her all right up. Pack it all up. And could we have uh, three large Irish whiskeys? I should go and get us a cab. We got the horses. The horses, of course. Got, we got the horses. Do you ride? A, a champion. Oh. I could have been, you know, if I were. Yeah, sure. That's too heavy. I don't remember coming over here on them, actually. 